Hey guys, Andrew Edwards here from Gear Live, and we wanted to um, introduce you to a series of videos we're going to be doing here um, from an event at Ford. We actually went to Ford headquarters and checked out some of uh, the future trends that are going on, things are going to be building into their cars um, in the near future and also in the long term future. Um, and so we wanted to kick it off with um, something that we thought was pretty cool. Basically, what they're going to be doing is using GPS to know where you are. Um, and based on where you are, they're going to be able to communicate with you in English and with uh, whatever country you're in in that country's native language if you happen to get into some sort of accident or need some sort of help. So for example, get into a car accident, um, the car will basically you know, contact you from within your vehicle in English if you happen to be uh, from America or England. And um, let's just say you happen to be in Spain, it'll speak to the emergency services in Spanish. So there'll be like a, a middle layer um, that will know your language, um, the country's language, and to make it easier for you to get the help you need. Um, so we're going to give you a look at that technology right now. First, we want to thank our sponsor, GoToMeeting. Um, you can get a 30-day free trial if you head over to GoToMeeting.com. Use promo code PODCAST. Uh, they just released a really cool feature that I like. If you're familiar with Google+, Plus, you, can, you saw Google Hangouts which basically lets you hang out with a bunch of people uh, on video. Um, well, the new GoToMeeting kind of lets you do the same thing, but it ups the ante with some desktop sharing and uh, some other cool features um, that let up to six people with an HD webcam um, see each other while also sharing content from the computers and everybody collaborating. Yeah. GoToMeeting.com, promo code podcast um, to get a trial for 30 days. Really cool. Um, but again, here we go. Take it away with Ford. See you right after this. Genius as, as North America is. Uh, so we actually were able to develop what we think is a pretty uh, innovative solution to address that. And uh, what that does is it essentially identifies the location of the vehicle using the GPS location of the vehicle in the GPS module, uh, as well as identifying the cell tower that the phone is connected to. So the way it works is, say you are uh, living in the UK and you want to drive um, or take the tunnel over to France uh, for vacation and you have to get an accident when you're in France. The vehicle will actually communicate to you in the vehicle in English telling you that an accident has occurred and uh, we're going to call emergency services for you so please wait. And then we know now that you're in France so when we call the emergency operator for you on your behalf we actually speak in French to the emergency operator and we tell them that an accident has occurred in a Ford vehicle and then here's the specific GPS information of where that accident occurred to get you the help that you need. So we're actually uh, uh, currently in the development of it. It's going to launch next year. And because we go directly to the operators, the system is actually free for the life of the vehicle, even for secondary owners. Okay. And it's going to be available in over 30 markets in Europe, which our nearest competitor only offers it in something like 14 markets. So over double the amount of uh, markets covered. Uh, and then the price point is uh, zero <laughs> versus a there's typically an annual uh, cost. And what we're showing here, actually I'll give you a demo in a second, but a lot of our development work actually happens out of North America. So we actually carved out, this is Southeast Michigan, uh, we are actually able to carve out Southeast Michigan and create six different countries. So we can test whether we're here on this side of, this is tel 24 Telegraph Road, um, whether we're in Netherlands and speaking Dutch, and then we can go across the street and make sure that now we're communicating in, in Italian. So it can get that precise, it knows like one side of the street, or I guess it's, it's, it's as precise as the GPS coordinates. That's exactly right. Well, it's actually even more because not only do we get the GPS coordinates, but we also have something called dead reckoning. Okay. So in areas where you're under a tunnel and other things like that, we actually have the information from the wheel sensors to know the direction and the velocity that you're traveling. Oh, okay. So even when you start losing some of that GPS, we feed in other information, so uh, it's very precise. All right. So would you like to see a quick yeah. demo of that? Yeah. All right. First one of the day. Okay. <laughs> Let's hope it works, eh? Yeah. Sync will attempt to make an emergency call to cancel the call. So this Please is the scenario where uh, you started in uh, the UK and that was your home country. So it's speaking to you in, in, uh, in the Queen's English. 
So normally we'll call it right into 112 is the number in Europe. Uh, here we're going to call actually a, a cell phone to show you. We have a simulation showing that you're in France. So it gives you a chance to cancel the call in case you... It gives you a chance to cancel the call, exactly. And that was actually key input that we had from working with organizations like NINA, the National Emergency Number Association, and the European Emergency Number Association. So I'll answer it. So most of you probably understand French, so I don't have to tell you what it says, right? Uh, so basically it's saying that an accident has occurred in a Ford vehicle, uh, and then it's, it's providing the GPS coordinates of the specific location, and it repeats that. The operator can then take those uh, GPS coordinates, and, and typically they have the infrastructure where they can type them in, or they can even go to Google and type the Latin long numbers, and you can try it any any Google session, and it'll pinpoint exactly the location of the vehicle, and they can send the help. After this message is played, there's actually, uh, the line is open for communication to uh, from the uh, occupant and the uh, emergency call taker. So. Hopefully they can still communicate, but even if they could not communicate because of language issues, we still communicated the key information that a crash has occurred, and here's where to send help. Okay. So you, you've worked with the emergency services organization live in Europe sort of thing, because one, I think it would be kind of uh, freaky for an operator to answer and all of a sudden hear a computerized voice to say, here's a GPS cord. Yep. Yeah, so, so. so in, in, in this case, and this is just like the system we launched in North America, so really here we have two customers. The, kind of our main customer here really is actually the emergency call taker, right. right? As well as the customer that's in the vehicle. So we work very closely with uh, NINA, which is again, this is the National Emergency Number Association. And we had dedicated sessions where we actually took their input on how to develop the system. So that you saw where we actually have 10 seconds where the customer can cancel the call. NINA wanted that, so if, um, if the customer didn't want the call to occur, they could actually cancel it to help reduce burdensome calls. Uh, when we moved it to Europe, we actually worked, we have a sister organization called ENA, the European uh, Emergency Number Association. So we worked very closely with them to provide that key input. So it was a very collaborative effort. And um, what, we, what we really do is we work with these, what they call PSAPs, Public Safety Answering Points. Those are the first call takers. Uh, we, we work with them very closely to get input on the system. We work with them to actually test the system in, in real life. And then the last one, to your point, is we work with them uh, with training. So we actually have extensive training. It's kind of more B2B training, but to all the call takers, we have CDs and DVDs that we have uh, that we send out to the call takers today. And they have normal training curriculum that they actually work that in. 